11.30 to play. Electric scoreboard flashing the words defense. Tennessee trying to hang on to a six-point lead. Slot with an eye. Tennessee crashing off one side. We pitch it to Herschel. Going to get him out. 10, 8, 7, 5. Herschel. Herschel Walker. Well, I had one thing sticking in my mind before he ever played his first play. Dooley had said to me very quietly, what I may have on my hands here is nothing but a big, stiff fullback. And that's the way he put it. And in scrimmages, the guys had uh, taken care of him pretty good. And he was third string tailback the night we went into Knoxville. Once we put on pads, it, he was a different player. Uh, and when he got in the game in Tennessee in the opener in 1980, uh, we saw a guy we didn't see during the preseason. I mean, he was running over people. We knew we had a competitor, and we knew he was a talented guy. He had the whole package, and it, it really it just excited the whole team because the year before, we knew we were close to winning an SEC championship. We were lacking one player, and that player in our system had to be a dominating player at running back. And we got that player in Herschel Walker, and in that Tennessee game, we knew it was going to be a big year for us. And then the kick is good, long, going to come down inside the 30, and we hit him, he fumbled the ball, and the dog missed it, it's rolling to 10, to 7, to 5, we fumble it again, we fumble it, it's in the end zone, get on that ball! Hopes are always highest at the start of a season. Everyone is undefeated, and each team has championship hopes. But in September of 1980, Georgia fans were concerned with rebounding from the 6-5 and five season of 1979. It was a sweltering night in Knoxville, Tennessee, when the Dogs opened their season on September 6th of 1980. And things got hotter on the field when the Vols jumped out to a 15-0 lead on their home turf. But then momentum swung toward the Georgia sideline. This fumble would elude everyone's grasp, and the ensuing safety got the Dogs on the board. Trailing 15-2, and desperate to establish a rushing attack, Vince Dooley called on freshman Herschel Walker. He may have been young, but it was obvious he was a man among boys. While Herschel did his thing on the field, Munson was running with him in spirit. This has not been a night for old lady luck. Georgia knocking on the door, they're on the Tennessee 16. Tennessee has dominated this one. They gave us a break, we couldn't use it, and we gave them a couple. 15 to two Tennessee leading, crowd roaring against Georgia, trying to make them drop it so they can't hear. We hand it off to Herschel, there's a hole, 5, 10, 12, he's running all over people! Oh, you Herschel Walker! My God almighty, he ran right through two men! Herschel ran right over two men, they had him dead away inside the nine! Herschel Walker went 16 yards, he drove right over Orange Church, just driving and running with those big fives! My God, a freshman! 15 8, you think this isn't big right here? Do you realize what has happened in this thing tonight? Tennessee in a 7-4, and Rex sticks it up, and it's in there good. 11.30 to play. Electric scoreboard flashing the words defense. Tennessee trying to hang on to a six-point lead. Slot with an eye. Tennessee crashing off one side. We pitch it to Herschel. Going to get him out. 10, 8, 7, 5. Herschel, Herschel Walker. Side. We went to the short side and pitched it to that kid out of Johnson County. He got a block in front of him out around the six or seven and got inside of it and went in the corner standing. Give the guy some rest. It's 15 to 15. My God, what's going to happen in the next 11 minutes and 16 seconds? Robinson to try the extra point. Tennessee seven men on the line. One man's going to jump in the middle and Rex sticks it up and the kick is good for the first Time tonight, Georgia 16, Tennessee 15. 4 22 to go, Georgia leading 16 to 15. Tennessee trying to save himself here. Balls come up to the line. Oshevsky behind it. We're in a 6 5. They put a man in motion. They pitch it to the tail. He fumbles. It rolls around. Everybody dies. I think Georgia's got the ball on the two yard line. We cracked it out of his hands. Georgia's caught the ball. About the two, it spurted up in the air, and somebody dove on it in the secondary. They pitched to the tail with a man in motion and ran a sweep with a couple of blockers. He cut inside. He penetrated four yards. Eddie Weaver and Joe Crimmins hit him. Georgia's got the ball on a one and a half. Oh, God, look at the clock. 4.02, and it's on a one and a half. Georgia up to the line. Power eye. 
Tennessee up in there, seven men on the line, and Buck curls over the ball, and somebody tried to blitz between Morrison and all, and look at the clock. Oh, look at the clock. They have come back, and they beat Tennessee 16 to 15. You know, for many years after the incident in Knoxville, the uh, Tennessee coaches uh, would play my broadcast of the Herschel's first touchdown run where he ran over Bates and split a couple tacklers at the same time. They would play that over and over on speakers to their football team to try and get them up and get them ready. Do you think, as a result of this game, you have gotten a lot of attention? Uh, do you think people might expect too much out of you? Well, I really can't say, but I hope they don't because I'm um, we'll get out there and at least at every game and get a, give it 110 percent, and I hope they expect what I can give, and that's about all I can give. In 1980, a freshman sensation by the name of Herschel Walker stormed onto the college football scene, and Larry Munson was there for every toss sweep and every handoff. The red and black freight train led Georgia to the 1980 national championship. Walker's great plays on the field were always complemented by Munson's great calls in the booth. There have been many great combinations in Bulldog history. Baloo to Scott, Zyre to Hunter, but the combination of Munson and Walker may be the best ever. And a Herschel Walker, five, ten, twelve, he ran over him, he ran over him. There he goes, Herschel's gone, Herschel's gone. And they run a trap with Herschel Walker, got a hole, five. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. There goes Herschel. There goes Herschel. Suddenly, 76 yards. Herschel Walker scores. Hole at the right tackle. Man, did he turn it on when he had to. Suddenly. With Herschel, as you took your voice and you went step by step with him on the air, or five yards by five yards with him, you yourself were working yourself into a frenzy because you felt at any moment he was gone and he was going to go 80 or whatever. I think your voice came up and your energy level came up any time he got a little hole and you saw him come through and realize how big and strong he was, he might go. And I would imagine you were putting more of yourself into the game whenever Herschel had the ball. 